And Richard Holiday is uh, a little upset about his loss to JT Dunn. And he had said that his stock was crashing, but he's looking for it to turn around, and he's looking for that stock to sky fl uh, fly sky high. Absolutely. Really he hard is, to say. He, is, uh, he always has a marketing plan. He's from the marketing department. He said he was college educated. And uh, Mike Verna looks to be in tremendous shape. Verna is former New England champion. Uh, got robbed recently against AG Anthony Green. Yes, he did. And wants to defeat the winner of the 2018 ECWA Super 8 tournament, Mr. Richard Holiday. One of the most sought after talents in pro wrestling today. Recently signed a contract with Major League Wrestling, did Richard Holiday. So wow. people are starting to take notice. Mike Marsh. Vernus. Oh, Vernus. Vernus going to see bartender Bob grab a nice cold one while Holiday takes 10 to 12 minutes to take off his ring jacket. And Holiday's going to have a problem with this. Look. Yeah, he's, he's drunk. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I mean, he had one beer. I don't think he's that big a lightweight, is he? <laughs> All right, here we go. I mean, hey, he had a couple of sips of beer. That doesn't make him, uh, you know, Vince Vicalo or anything. No, no, you know? no. No one can drink like Vince Vicalo. There is no, there is nobody like Vince Vicalo. <laughs> Zero. Love him. Zero. No one can drink, uh, an Andre size <laughs> amount of alcohol <laughs> and then wake up in the morning and just sprint like Vince Michael. That guy is like sprints to the gym. Yes, this guy's from another level. <laughs> <laughs> All right, side headlock by Holiday and talked about it a couple times before. Trained by Paul Roma and Mario Mancini. And uh, he does the drives, he's making a name for himself, as is Mike Verna. Verna, the pride and joy of Brooklyn, New York, but has still endeared himself to these fans. Here in Chaotic, what a shoulder tackle. Couldn't even move. That's Mike Verna. <laughs> Mike Verna is, Mike Verna's a strong dude, but. But. Uh, Mr. Marketable is, uh, he's not exactly a small guy. No, these two men are packaged, uh, both men in, oh, tremendous physical condition. Holiday, much taller, lankier, 238, but but very well put together. Yeah, yeah, he's thick as a Yeah, and Verna's just that power lifter, 240, just lands right on his feet, though, like a cat. Oh, big back body drop. Verna now off the ropes. Rubs is flying, whoa! Suicide dive, and he just folded Holiday up against that guardrail. Just went to the crowd. Almost sent Holiday there. Verna, another man doing the drives, competing throughout these United States. Uh, has competed for Evolve, has competed in Chikara really started to gain some notoriety in New England by coming up here and competing for Chaotic Wrestling, where, like I said, he's held the New England Championship. He's on that top rope. Fly, oh, good roll through by Mike Verna. Whoa. Took too long, runs right into the boot. Hook of the leg in a count of two. It's a holiday. He's gonna stay on top of Mike Verna. Look at him trying to get that quick cover. He's trying to put away Mike Verna. Kevin Quinn, the official for this bout, right from right here in Woburn, Massachusetts. Wobber. <laughs> and now stomping on the ankle is Richard Holiday. Figure if he can immobilize his opponent, gonna have a better shot of putting him away and hopefully connecting with that finishing maneuver that his stock market crash. Yeah. 2008, I believe it's called. Uh, yes. Is that when the market crashed? Yes, I believe so. Oof! A stiff elbow. Richard Holiday. You can just see like the wheels turn, constantly turn in Richard Holiday's head. Because it's like you said before, the guy always has a plan, whether it's marketable, whether it's an attack, it's just he's always planning and plotting. 
Oh, he pulled the tights. <laughs> Gets a count of two. And an elbow to follow up. That elbow seems to be working for Richard Holiday. Just keeps driving the point of that elbow right now. Mush. Mr. Most Marketable, Richard Holiday, who made a very auspicious debut right here in this building and defeated JT Dunn in a non-title match. I agree, he is suspicious. <laughs> and he was able to cash that in for a heavyweight title shot. Came up short, but uh, won't stop trying. Kind of two. Oh, he's got the trunks. Whoa. Beautiful drop, standing drop kick by the six foot four, 238 pounder. Originally from Manhattan, New York. Just likes to be referred to from the marketing department. He's a marketing genius. Sells a lot of merchandise, does Richard Holiday. And you know what, Richard Holiday, if you've ever known, like I've noticed this entire match, he hasn't really like played to the fans or, or catered to them in any way because he knows what it takes to get the job done. Ooh. Honestly, distracting yourself isn't gonna work. He's trying to hit a steel chest right now. That seems to not be working. <laughs> you can see Holiday say, no, no, no. Oh, right Whoa. into a fan's boot at ringside. Oh, yes. A little fan participation here. These guys should be a part of the match. I mean, that's technically illegal, no? Yeah, well, technically, yes. <laughs> Berta just kind of Is that trying up. to break the count? <laughs> I think because he put the hand, oh, blocks the chop. Oof. Berna and Holiday. Boy, a rivalry here. Ooh. Oh! Jesus. Oh, no other way to describe that, but that is. Uh, <laughs> he tripped. Oh, what did he trip? <laughs> that makes no sense. <laughs> That's the worst excuse in the world. The consumer's choice now wearing down the man of steel. One of our depleting a stock. Serious. Yes. <laughs> the stock depleter, if yeah. you will. <laughs> yeah, Holland. See him just I don't know if when he calls the fans consumers, because that's an endearing time of that. I've been like that's been rattling in my head for months. <laughs> it's it's just more of they're not fans, they're they're consumers, because he's a marketing genius. Everything he does is for his consumers, so you know. like an edge head, you know? Yeah. Ooh, into a sleeper. Oh, wow, that was nice and deep. It certainly was. Takes Verna right down to the canvas. Trying to sap the strength from the man of steel. Mike Verna down on the canvas. And Holiday continues to apply the pressure. Verna, who bled buckets in this very building, that legendary Rupert street fight he had with Chase Del Monte. I don't think we've seen Chase since. No, no, I have not actually. You're right. It's been a nice little, uh, nice little break. Yeah, it's been quiet. It has been. I like it. Yes. And now, count uh, of three from Kevin Quinn. And these two really been going at it for over seven minutes. Clothesline ducked, another one ducked. Pulls it on, putting Verna on to the outside. Oh, oh a one step, step ahead. Rolls his man up, rolls him through, I should say. Off the ropes. Nice head scissor takedown. Series of clotheslines by the Man of Steel, Mike Verna. The powerhouse. Good punch. Soon to be television star Mike Verna. Power slam gets a count of two. Verna's been uh, spending a little time on the uh, the old movie set lately. So oh, yeah, going to be uh, part of a mafia themed series that's right. going to be debuting sooner than later. He looks like he's going to be part of the yeah, I think he fits right in there. Yeah. My fellow Boomba. Places <laughs> man up on the shoulders now. 
Right now, Christian Holiday shoves him into the corner. Wow! Oh, that's snatch out of thin air. Oh. That's some power right there. Holiday now. Oh, come on, the feet are on the ropes, ref. All right, tried to steal one. Quinn didn't see it, but Verna was able to kick out. There it is. Oh, eight. Two and. What? Wow, only two. I thought he had him right there. Kevin Quinn said no, that shoulder was up. Wait a minute, Wait. here comes Angel Sinclair. We've seen some backstage shenanigans from Angel Sinclair of the retrosexual AG camp. And she is looking on lovingly. Maybe she's got a vested interest in Holiday. I don't know, I mean. She's put that kiss of death on Werner a couple of times. I was gonna say, it seemed like she tried to put that, wait a minute, what, what's going on? She's got the boot of Holiday. Holiday shoves her off the apron, but the distraction was made. Yep. And backing up. And that gave Werner the opportunity to connect. That put her away. Mel half Nelson slam. What? And gets the win. Wow. Give the assist.